Hi, this is Pat's Two Cents. Listen, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You see how dark it is right now? It, it's really hard to make out details and, and you know, imagine I'm moving even further back and it just seems so dark and things are hard to distinguish, right? Well, I did this because I want you to see just how difficult it is for you to make out details in your lives and when it gets dark don't we hit the panic button we start running around looking for some candles i mean we just try to find all kind of ways to enable us to see a little bit and imagine what it's like when it is totally pitch black i mean it just gets darker and darker and darker and we hit panic mode well, let me share this with you. If we were in a dark room, I'm going to turn the light on in a minute, so don't freak. If we were in a dark room and I turned the lights out suddenly, from having the lights on, it would seem like everything was really, really, really dark. And we wouldn't be able to distinguish pretty much anything. However, as we sit in the darkness and we don't jump up and we wait, all of a sudden things start getting lighter and lighter and we start to, to get a little bit more light on the matter and our eyes start to acclimate to the darkness and we're, and the darkness starts to appear to get lighter and lighter, right? And then we get to see more details like, oh, it's not as dark as it was. Yes, it is. Your eyes have acclimated because you waited. Now, you wait a little longer and there's some more light and you're able to just see a little bit more detail. It's like, wow, wow, I can see better now. Now hold on a minute, don't go anywhere. Voila, light. Everything's the same, nothing's changed. It was just dark. And dark makes us feel panic stricken. Listen, had you jumped up, when everything turned out and everything was black and you're running around trying to figure out where are the candles, where's the cigarette lighter so you can light some fire and get some lighting on the issue, right? You'll sit there and freak out. And you'll end up bumping your shins and knocking things over and breaking things because you're so busy reacting to the dark. You're freaking out because you don't know how you're going to get enough power to get the lights back on. You're freaking out because you can't find the specific things you need to get things done. And you can't do those things in the dark. So you're trying to make it happen. And you're making something that's bad worse. Because glasses break and dishes break and you knock things over and you spill and you fall listen when god says be still and know that i am god that means in your spirit you ought to sit still like i'm doing right It may be difficult because you can't see what's going on. It may be scary, a bit daunting and, and, and haunting and you, oh, nerve wracking. But your faith is shown by the fact that you are remaining still. And then as you are still in your spirit, you begin to acclimate to the darkness and you actually begin to see more and more activity. And you begin to see, oh, I don't have to get up and find my keys. Somebody is bringing the keys to me who has a flashlight. Oh, that answered that problem. Okay, I don't have to look and see where my shoes are. My child is bringing me my shoes. Oh. There's my coat right next to me. I didn't even remember I hadn't hung it up yet. There's my pocketbook. 
Okay, now you start to get tools in your hands and you start to get equipped with what you need to do with what you need to do because you waited. You didn't make a mess of things. You didn't spill the milk. You didn't knock down the trash can. You didn't break the dish. You waited. And see, that's the difference between those who operate in faith and those who operate in fear. You're either going to wait and allow God to prepare the way ahead of you, allow God to instruct you and send you help where you need it, or you're going to freak out, panic, and you're going to get upset, angry. You're going to make matters worse. You might even stumble over your own shoes that are right there looking while you're looking for them. I mean, you can end up making a very a catastrophe out of a little setback. And you can spend years trying to recover from the, from the panic-driven choices you've made reacting be still and know that I am God okay I'm going to stop there think about that you need to be still watch and pray before you jump up and create I mean just wreak havoc in your own life with that God bless you